Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you a step-by-step compilation of GCC. So when we compile a C program, for example, so we are having this program. So first of all, the first step uh, of compilation is pre-processing. What is the meaning of pre-processing? Actually, the pre-processor does three tasks. First one if we are including any header file in our code for example in this program we have included stdio.h so when we compile it compiler first of all pre-process our program so during that pre-processing it will include entire code of stdio.h file in our code so this is the first task of pre-processor in inclusion of header file code second one uh, if in our program is there any comment those comments will be removed from the program because these comments are only for users there is no uh, effect on compilation for because of these comments so it, it is better to remove these uh, comment in the beginning of compilation and third one if in our program if we are using any macro so for example we have used a, we have created a macro max the value of this macro is 10 so in program all the macro name will be replaced by their value so preprocessor having three tasks inclusion of header file in our code removal of commands and replacing macro name with the macro definition so how we can run this uh, uh, preprocessing step so gcc we are having a option uh, option so in order to run that preprocessor step first we will go to desktop because we are having file on the desktop 1.c then we will run gcc minus capital e 1.c so when we supply this flag e so this flag will tell compiler that only execute preprocessing step so when we pre-process so this is the code this is our code so if we can see our code is having some these lines so these lines actually coming from the stdio.h file this is code actually stored in stdio.h file so our program is actually is this one so if you can see <coughs> in this program there is no macro uh, definition here all we have written in program int a equal to max but now after pre-processing macro name get replaced by macro definition plus there is no comment in the beginning there is no comment whatever we have included in the file so this is the first step pre-processing the first step of compilation so when our compiler does this step after doing pre-processing the next step comes is compilation itself so what is the meaning of compilation during this step uh, step compiler convert our program into the assembly language code right so we want to see how that step will take place so in gcc one another flag is my s so when we supply minus s when we execute this command gcc minus s 1.c it will specify to compiler that only execute pre-processing and compilation step only two steps pre-processing and compiling so when we will execute this command if you can see one extra file generated on the desktop so if you will open this file this is the assembly code this is the assembly code for our program so we have written only two statement one for printing one for assigning value to variable a so for those two line of program this assembly code get generated now as we know assembly code cannot be executed by uh, any machine computer cannot understand assembly code computer can understand only 0 1 language it means we need a converter that can convert this assembly language code into a 0 1 format or into a binary format so now comes the role of assembler so assembler is the 
third step pre-processing compiling now assembler so what assembler will do assembler convert this assembly language code into the binary code so how we, we can do this we will run gcc 1.c minus o and 1.o so the meaning of this one is that we are compiling and uh, the binary code that compiler will generate that binary code will be saved with the file name 1.0 now we will check on the desktop so one file is created on the desktop 1.0 now if we try we will try to open this file it will display a message that could not display because this is a binary file there is no appropriate application for to show content from this file <coughs> now we have generated binary code that is required by machine but there is one more uh, step left in compilation that step is known as linking for example if in our program we have used some function from another library we have called some function from another library so during this step linking all the code of those functions or the address of those functions will be included in final executable files so that linking part another example we can say when whenever any project starts so usually that project will be having number of files so uh, every person working on some portion of the, that uh, that project files so after the project will be completed so for example say that project is having 100 c files so if you will compile them 100 object code 100 binary format file will be generated but at last what we want we want only a single executable file so what linking will do linking will combine all those binary code file into a single file and that file is known as executable file so the fourth step one dot c so when we compile any c program using command gcc one dot c and uh, it execute all four steps all four steps pre-processing compiling assembling linking and finally it will generate a executable file so that executable file by default has a name a dot out so in order to run this program uh, we will write dot slash a dot out the meaning of dot slash is that the, the uh, it will uh, instruct this interpreter that try to find this a dot file in the current directory single dot represent current directory so it will execute this file and hello world message will be printed on the screen thank you for watching